Okay. Today I am drawing Urien from uh, Street Fighter as a little warm up before I get to work. Um, it's um, obviously a popular character, it's one of my favorite characters. Um, so let's get to it. This should be quick. Uh, this is my Sakura drawing from um, last week. Didn't get to do any warm ups this week because I've been busy. So, yeah. Try to do them when I can. And when I have a chance, I like to share. So, let's get to it. I make sure all my settings are good. Looks like it. Okay, perfect. Let's try to come up with a sketch. It's too big. If I start doing details too soon, I just get lost. So just go nice and loose. To start. Muscle mass sculpted like a Greek god. There's always a lot of comments about how this design sucks because it's just like a naked dude in a loincloth, and I just can't agree with it. There's a lot more to the design because the, the his moves and his personality and his outline is very much like a Greek god, or the way the Greeks kind of worshipped the human figure and how they sculpted it and that's a, well, a call back to that it, it ties with the story it ties with this moveset and it's kind of genius it's, it's just like how Ryu is a good design even though it's just a dude in a karate uniform you know sometimes you can have a simple idea but it's the execution of the idea that is way more important. has um, all sorts of possible anatomical fuck-ups so but it could be cool
cool pose, but he's not really doing anything. <laughs> it's just like jumping hurdles for no reason. It's a little too much. Even for me. A lot of Urien fan art I find online is usually just him standing there. Just not doing jack shit. Um, you know, whatever. It's fine. Works. But I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> hmm. An arm pose like this, uh, it could it could work, but I, I feel like for a big muscly guy, something where the arch is like this, it kind of just fits his body mass a little better. I think I did a Kami pose that may be similar to this. Oh, no, it's, it's not that similar. Okay. That's not bad then. Yeah, what if he's not even holding onto the ground? What if he's just like in midair? cloth in there, that's important. Otherwise he'll just look naked. <laughs> head placement for this though. If the collarbones are here, then if the head is here, that means the head is facing stilted forward. We could go more exaggerated, like neck going down and make it look a bit more anime pose.
it looked disconnected from the main body though. Hmm. Feels a little forced. Don't know if it's because of the arm. Hmm. Not so much. I think it's because of the chest. nail a pose down pretty quickly so this is kind of annoying actually <laughs> this is what happens when you don't do sketches often you know Maybe that's just him standing up When you kind of like done those sketches for a few days, then your first few sketches are usually like, you know, pretty whatever. has that cool farble pose he does. Shoulder tackle here, not working either. Hmm. Let's see. What sketches did I have? <coughs>
Mm, maybe this can work. I don't know. Let's give it a bit more time. Why didn't I do this for again? Hmm. It's like I'm playing the hits. Well, maybe I can make it different enough. Let's change the feet. things that is cool about this character is that he has a lot of theatrics in his moveset so he looks like there, there's like an element of like ballet to him like everything just looks very polished in terms of silhouettes so that's an opportunity right there for something Big body, tiny head. Not to go full Rob Liefeld. But potential but hmm, maybe there is a reason why most people draw him just standing there <laughs> just like yep yep not much else to do something from the back.
little sideburns in there. Yeah, he has, like, he's got a lot more mass though, so I gotta bulk this dude up. I'm doing most of his anatomy from uh, memory. I don't really have any reference open. So, you know, <laughs> hopefully it looks good. I've been doing this for a while. I think I know what I'm doing, but uh, I, f I mess up all the time. anatomy is one of those things that you can get to a point where you're quote unquote good enough but there's always more I mean the same goes with most everything in life right so sure but anatomy in art in particular is something where you can always get better usual leg problems again. Well, he needs to get straightened up a little bit. You know, just looking at this drawing, this looks kind of pervy, but whatever. We don't complain when a woman has this pose, so it is what it is. If it works, it works. I'm not going to overthink it. the knee facing that way but the knee should technically be facing that way so then instead of seeing the side of the calf muscle you see the back of the calf muscle and ankles Achilles heel. This arm is bothering me though. It looks cool, but it needs to be doing something, not just being there limp. I do put it on the side and keep it just in case I want it back. Wait a minute. If this arm is doing something. muscle doesn't work if I do that. But that's okay.
could just hide the arm entirely. That's also an option. I mean, sometimes you just have a nice silhouette here and you don't want to fuck it up. Hmm. I can bring it up around and have like a decent hand pose. This is the part where we just like to have like a bunch of smoke right here, so I don't have to draw any of this. It's way too obvious. And that butt, Jesus Christ. It's out of control. looks fairly flat. Hmm. See, there's some rotation here, there's some overlapping here, there's some follow through here. <coughs> but this is just whoop, whoop. Don't love that.
positive gun spread eagle would work. Honestly, I'm beginning to think I could just cut him off after the thigh and just be done with that. I can't seem to find the right leg pose. Hey, that's okay. I would rather have every drawing be a full body drawing, but uh, if it's not working out, not working out. Well, let's start flushing. Let's start doing the fun stuff. Well, it's fun if I can actually do it. It's easier if I just rotate this. Do the same shape we're painting with. Pretty loose today. The Sakura drawing from last week was a lot tighter. <laughs> Somebody um, on the interwebs um, found and scanned the Marvel Anatomy guide for Marvel characters from, you know, back in the 90s. And I really, really want to when I like sit down and just read it, well, not read it because it's all in Japanese, but just study it. It's very much like 90s anatomy in a sense, like from the Street Fighter 2 era, uh, or the Street Fighter anime movie, but I think it's dope. Hmm. What the hell does this look again? Forearm muscles are always weird. Because they kind of do what they want. Uh, for the purple flames, I think I'm mostly going to do it in color, not so much line work. That looked nice.
eyebrow, that's the eye. Forehead. He's got a big old nose, right? I think that shit changes pretty often. More of a hook nose. And he's got the typical Street Fighter mouth. Street Fighter mouth, in case you don't know, it's like this. You have a nose, you know, which can be whatever. And then your mouth looks like this. Yep, yep, yep. Just look at Street Fighter art. Look for the Street Fighter mouth. You'll see. It's everywhere. Like, uh, I do have a reference pick close to me so I can do this stuff a little better, a little easier. The skull, you do want to have like as close of a skull shape as possible, I guess. More or less, more or less. Um, but then you can have hair, just kind of break the pattern a little bit. This is pretty loose, but uh, it has its charm, actually. You know, you can see the process, you can see the foundation, you can see the mistakes, and it kind of gives it its own personality, which I don't mind. Not everything has to be super tight. I mean, some of my favorite art from other artists are their looser, more experimental stuff, so. I am not at that level, but, you know. Something to keep in mind. For back stuff, doing back anatomy is tricky because uh, people can have very different uh, muscles. No, I mean, everybody has the same muscles, right? But it, it could look very different depending on the person. Level of fitness, what, you know, muscles they're into. <laughs> and especially when you want to have some rotation, rotation. and uh, But you always want to define your shoulder blades. You want to have that down. You want to have your spinal curve down, and you can draw it kind of however you want, right? Some people like to draw 
the actual vertebrae and just kind of surrounded by muscles um, that works sometimes um, in skinnier people it can work um, when you kind of want to have you know the, the trapezius tends to do like a triangle shape inverted triangle shape something to keep in mind then you get down here and you get down to the lats Latissimus dorsi, if you went to art school. You want to have the divots, which is also another triangle. Uh, dudes have them. Uh, it's usually more of a lady thing, but uh, let's go ahead and do it up. And how the hell did his butt work? <laughs> I got some reference. Let me see if I can find some real quick. Uh, I mean, line claws are difficult, yeah. Okay, I see it now. I had it mostly right. leakage for good measure this is fun what's not fun about butts See if I can get those shoulder muscles to show up a little bit better. Not my favorite one yet, but um, good enough for a warm up. Definitely feel warmed up. I think he came up a little bit skinnier though than the uh, the actual character looks like. A little more fragile looking. Be careful with making hair floppy like I just did because sometimes it just makes your dude look like a surfer. You know, you, you, you kind of want it to look like a slick character, not too. Just don't get the don't get the uh, characterization wrong. Hmm, okay, I think I'm just gonna slap some color on this sucker. If 
this is your first time watching these warm-ups. Um, my painting style is usually, you know, very thorough, but for these, I kind of want to keep it simple. So you just kind of block out the shadows. It's, it's a fun experiment for me as well. By and large, this is a simple coloring process. It's mostly about line work and flow and you know, pose. That's like his deal. Sometimes it helps to paint over the line art a little bit. Definitely on the sloppy side of the rendering. Well, it goes with the line art, so it's not too bad. I forget. Some of that butt definition. I think some of the problem I have with this drawing is like the guy is quite naked and I need to work on my anatomy. So I can really just. Maybe that's why people draw him just standing there, right? Because it's like an exercise in showing off anatomy prowess. And then it, like, this guy just looks cool just sitting there because the body looks so crazy. So, that's a lesson. Which, you know, I can do, but like on the fly without looking at any reference and taking my time. Which wouldn't be the the more extremely friendly thing ever. You know, if I'd be like, hey, yeah, let's look at Google. <laughs> or take photos or whatnot. Alright. Let me mask these things off. That's our guy. I'm happy with it. I'll, I'll make better ones, I'm sure. It's a work in progress, but uh, the pose ended up being unique enough for just being a guy standing there. Um, there's some rotation, there's some movement. The colors are loose and playful, which I like. Um, yeah, cool. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.